Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our past engineering board exam problem. So this is past engineering board problem number 22. Find the volume of the pyramid formed in the first octant by the plane 6x plus 10y plus 5z minus 30 equals 0. So this three variable equation, guys, is a plane. So we need to construct the pyramid out of this plane dun sa first octant natin. So first, i-plot muna natin siya, guys. No? So meron tayong tatlong axis dito since we have three variables, x, y, and z. So this is the orientation of my axis. And pwede nyo guys gawin na iba yung orientation, pwede magkabaliktad lahat ng uh, axis nyo, pwede rin naman. So, same pa din yung makukuha yung answer dito. So, first step guys, i-drawing natin yung figure, yung plane, out of this equation. So, kung natin yung intercept nitong equation dun sa ating axis. So, to get the Z intercept, okay, so we need to let X a 0 and then Y a 0 to get to get z intercept. So from this equation, we have 6x, so 0, plus 10y, so y is 0, to get the z intercept, plus 5z minus 30 equals 0. Okay, so this becomes 5z equals 30, so divide by 5 both sides, so this gives you z as 6. Okay, so therefore, yung ating uh, z intercept is at 6. So, i-plot natin dito, guys. So, we have here, that is at 0, 0, and 6. So, this means that ito yung x intercept dyan, and then this is the y intercept there, and then 6 is the z intercept. So, ito yung sequence ng ating coordinate. So, for the y component, or for the y intercept, so, we will let x as 0 and z as 0. So let x 0 and z as 0 to get okay, to get the y intercept. So let x is 0. So 6 times 0 and then plus 10y plus 5z, z is 0 minus 30 equals 0. So that gives us 10y equals, that is 30. Okay, transpose na si negative 30 dun sa right side. And then, divide both sides by 10. That gives you y as 3. So, therefore, yung y natin is, this is positive uh, axis. So, kapunta rito is positive axis. And we have here, that is at 0, 3, and 0. So, yan yung y-intercept natin. And then for the x-intercept, guys, same thing, no? Kung kukuha yung x-intercept, let y as 0 and let z as 0. Okay, so compute that uh, x-intercept. So let y as 0 and z is 0. Okay, so here we have 6x plus 10y, y is 0, and then plus 5z, z is 0. Minus 30 equals 0. So, therefore, we have here 6x equals 30. So, transpose na si 30 dun sa right side. And then, we have uh, x equals so 30 over 6 or that is 5. Okay. So, therefore, nandito yung x coordinate natin or yung x intercept natin. So, that is at 5, 0, 0. And then, connect lang natin, guys, yung mga points to form a plane. Yan na yung plane natin, yung triangle. But, the question here is, yung pyramid, yung volume ng pyramid form in the first octant. Okay? So, ito yung first octant natin. So, as you can see here, meron siyang na-form na pyramid out of that uh, x, y, and z axis. So, kukunin lang natin yung volume nitong uh, pyramid using the formula volume equals one-third area of the base a area of the base times height. So, yung height natin dito, guys, eto, no? So, this is at 6 units because this is at Z. Because at Z, that is 6 units. Okay? So, eto yung height natin dyan. So, which is 
six units. And then yung base natin is ito siya. So yung base natin is just a right triangle because this is a right angle here. So this is uh, three units because that is the y intercept and ito ay five units. So to get the area of the base, we have area of the base that is just a triangle. So one half uh, kay isang side, so times three times yung isang side since that is just a right triangle. So basically one half base times height yan. So ito na yung area ng base natin. And then height is 6 given. And then we can input now those values dito sa ating formula in solving for the volume of a pyramid. Okay, so the volume of the pyramid equals one third area ng base. So that is one half times three times five. And then the height is six times six. And then we have here, ito guys, this is three times two. So this is just six. So six divided by six is one. So ito cancel. So those are uh, canceled na. And then we have here three times five. So therefore, the volume of the pyramid equals 15 cubic units. So that is now the final answer for this past board exam problem. That's it guys and I hope that you learned from this video. So if you learned from this video, I hope that you subscribe on this channel so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching this video and this is Engineer Prof. PH. See you on my next video.